All right. right. Patrick. Uh, you know, last week you guys were given a bunch of lists for parents about things they need to know about their kids and all, yeah. Yeah, everything for parents, parents, parents. I thought I would flip it, and I chose for my list things kids should know about their parents. Yeah. They ah. can make that whole arrangement a little yeah. bit more appealing to them. Uh, first one, uh, a lot of them have no idea what they're doing. The great majority. <laughs> right? A lot of them, I know when you're a kid, a lot of times you think your parents know everything and no. you think they're right all the time. Yeah. And then you get to be an adult and you realize how insane your parents were. Right. So this is all those kids out there just letting you know 20, 30 years from now, you're going to realize how crazy these two people raising you are if you have a little bit of that self-awareness yeah. now. Right. I'm not telling you don't listen to your parents. Right. I'm just telling you, you might be able to be a little bit more selective about some of the things you listen to right. and those you don't listen to. <laughs> right. It's yeah. true. I think that's a fair uh, way to put it. Next one, no matter how much they try and convince you otherwise, you're going to be smarter than a lot of them by the seventh grade. That right. is very true. I'd say fourth grade. Yeah. yeah. I know your parents sometimes, they like to they indoctrinate you young. They start using big words around you right. so they can appear to be a lot smarter than you. But if you're like in the seventh grade, go to them with your math homework. Yeah. Right. And when they try and say stuff like, well, I could just do it for you, say, well, why don't you try yeah. just yeah. doing one for yeah. me? And I'll bet you a hundred bucks they won't be able to do any of it. Very uh, true. Uh, so next true. one, this is one I wish I would have known when I was a kid. Many of your parents swear like a sailor. Yeah. Uh, you know, they never want you using bad words around the house and you're going to get in trouble for it. But right. believe you me, right. a lot of them have what a mouth on them. I'm not talk, talking Wait about... Wait a minute. Don't I'm most kids about, know that, though? I no, don't think they do. I don't know that they a do. Lot of, well, your dad was the <laughs> exception because he swore like a sailor around you. <laughs> right. But I think a lot of parents try to hide that part uh, of their lives from yeah. their kids. Oh. And yeah. kids think that their parents are all goody two-shoes. They're not. Now, I'm going to talk about present company, but I'm not not talking about present right. company. <laughs> uh, next one. Uh, they talk about you at work. <laughs> oh, boy, do they yeah. talk about oh, you. Oh, yeah. All the time. Great content. Great content, and it's not always positive. I'm going to tell you that right now. Again, not going to mention any names of people who are talking about their kids at work. I'm just saying it's a topic of discussion from a lot of them. Yes. Last one, if they're strict, and a lot of them are really strict with you, it's probably because they were maniacs at your age. <laughs> It's, try, it's called trying to overcompensate for how crazy they were as a kid. Yeah. They don't want you turning out like they do. So if they're strict, know that mom and dad have some skeletons in their closet. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, Patrick, yeah. well That's done. That's a good way right? to put it, yeah. Some of us survived not because of what our parents did, but in spite of what they did uh -huh. or didn't do. Yeah. Right. So a little context for all of you kids out there. Boy, thanks, That's Patrick. Helpful. Take those parents down a couple of pegs. Yes. Right? Yeah, give them a little bit of hope.